Okay. Hey kids, what time okay. is it? Professor Slender's Challenge Time! What time? Professor Slither's Challenge Time! That's right kids, it's Professor Slither's Challenge Time. The only show your parents haven't told you to stop watching. And now, here's the host with the most, the King of Swing, he's very cool and stayed in school, Fred McMahon! Hey yo, Six Flags, what's going on? McMahon and we're ready to have some fun, but we cannot have fun until we bring out this star of our show. This won't take too long. He's handsome, considerate, charming, well-mannered, the world heavyweight champion of music park comedy. He's the Ayatollah of rock and roll, and you should bring the bread because he's a jam. Professor Slivers! Yeah! What's up, Six Flags? Professor Slithers. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome to Professor Slithers Challenge, boys and girls. This is where you, the contestants, will come on up and take on Professor Slithers in a series of uh, wits, shenanigans, and all things that will ensue. That's right. I've taken a break from the laboratory to come right here to Six Flags and prove to you all that I know everything about everything. About everything. Thank you, but not a joke. Go yeah. on. Not a joke at all? No. Okay, well, um, speaking of uh, everything, what's what's this over here to your right? Uh, that's my assistant, Vanna. Uh, not, not that. Oh. Hi, Vanna. Everyone say hi, Vanna Pinky. Hi, Vanna Pinky. And uh, what about next to Vanna? What's that thingy? Oh, next to Vanna is my latest creation. Put your hands together for the Wheel of Challenges! <laughs> Everyone go, ooh. How's it work? Oh, very yeah. simple, Fred. When a contestant comes on stage, you're going to spin the wheel. It's either going to land on the impression challenge, the trivia challenge, or the physical challenge. Or, if one person's lucky, they may land on the grand prize. OMG! But only one grand prize win a first show, not the nice. I don't just give out free stuff all the time, but don't worry about it. It's my show. I'm going to win everything anyway. Well, all right then. So, you know what? Why don't we bring out the first contestant? So, uh, let's do so, that, Fred. What? I said let's do that, Fred. Okay. Our first contestant Actually, is... Actually, I know who the first contestant is. I invited him here myself, so just... Put that list away for a minute. Okay. Let me get this one. Ladies and gentlemen, this first contestant is a very good friend of mine. Ooh. You know him, you love him. This song is about him. Put your hands together for Mick Jagger! Ooh, Mick Jagger, I like him. Is he gonna play Painted Black? What is that? Uh uh. Uh, uh Professor. Professor. Royalty. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Can you cut the music? <laughs> Professor, focus. Focus. That That is not Mick Jagger. What? And that's not Mick Jagger. Yeah, that's... He's taller on TV. I know. <laughs> Mick, Jag Mick Jagger is not a chicken, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Explain no, that gotta, one. That's got to be Mick Jagger. You know how much I paid to get him here? How much? Five bucks. You could have gotten a footlong <laughs> from Subway for that. You know what? It took me two shows to get that joke. Wow. <laughs> Chicken get out the of chicken here. out of here. Get it. Can I bring up the real contestant now? You're supposed to be the smart one in this show. I know. I, get the I know. I just had to point that out. Get the contestant. I just got that. All right. Without further ado, contestants, may the odds be ever in your favor. All right. Our first contestant loves roller coasters. Nine years old, Jacqueline. Come on down. You're the first contestant here at Professor Slither's Challenge. There she is. <laughs> Hello there, Jacqueline. How you doing there, Jacqueline? What's your name, Jacqueline? Jacqueline. Whoa, what's, what's her name, Jacqueline? Answering that correctly. Hope you don't get the trivia challenge, huh? All right, why don't you go on down there, and we'll have her go ahead and spin the wheel. Wait, 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 wait. McMahon. What? Come on, come on. What did I do? Up. Before we spin, okay. we must first go to... Ah, yes. The Wheel of Challengers. <laughs> Clapping people. 
people. eating Wheaties in the morning. Red and what did we land on? We landed on Professor Slither's Choice. What yes! Okay, what do you want? I choose the physical challenge. Physical challenge. Okay, this is one of my favorite games because it was a movie that just recently came out. It's called The Amazing Wait! Spider- we don't own the rights, call it something effort. What do you mean we don't own the rights? Spider Cute, Spider Cute does whatever a Spider Cute does. It's not, it's, yeah, sing that, go. All right, well, due to copyright reasons, we will now call this from here on out, The Amazing Spider Dude. This game is very simple. What's going to happen is Jacqueline and the professor are going to put on these vests that are strapped with Velcro. Now, what they're going to throw are these little Spider Dudes that they will throw at each other. And uh, our challenger is going to go first, and don't worry. You're going to pelt them as hard as you possibly can, okay? You got that? All your strength. Put me in, coach! Oh, you ready? I'm ready indeed. All right there, Tim Tebow. How we do this? There you go. You got three. Wait, what? And what you're going to do is you're going to pelt them as hard as you can. Go ahead. Ooh. Oh, whoa! No, 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 at, no, the at, the, at the Velcro. At the Velcro. You want to hit the Velcro. Oh. That's one. <laughs> Need to win. Oh. Hey, hey, how'd that feel? I, I never been better. All right. Well, guess what? It's now your turn, so you get to get a rebuttal. Ha ha! Oh, this is gonna be so easy. It hey, is. Give me a third spider. Give me a third spider. A third spider. Yeah. And this challenge. So e is this easy, right? I can do this thing blindfolded. Really? Well, Vanna, why don't we help him with what? that one? Why don't you go ahead and blindfold Wait, our no, professor? I, I was kidding. You were not joking. Why Guess what? what? If you think it's so easy, we will blindfold you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, here's your third bird. Oh. And we're gonna spin you for good measure. What? What? Good. I didn't agree to three. that. Times, My burrito's gonna and come stop. back up. And guess what? She is directly in front of you. So why don't you go ahead, on your mark, get set, go! Okay. And he throws the first ball, and it's gone. And he's gonna throw the second ball, and it's going. And the third ball, and it's gone! Guess wait, what? Wait, wait. You lost. <laughs> that was awesome. He didn't even see it coming. High five. That was that was awesome, right? So <laughs> oh, put it right down. Look at you! Hey, you're a sore loser there, Tim Tebow. What are you, you doing? Cheated. Are you I cheated? Well, guess what? What? Because of that little, uh, this little charade you just had, you are the loser! Yep. You can go be dramatic somewhere else there, Charlie Sheen. Platoon. All right. Guess what? Because Jacqueline wins, you... I took my football gear off, all right? Okay. Did that you cry a little great. bit? No. That was a nice warm-up round, but it doesn't count. Bring up the real first that, contest. That, that was the warm-up. Yes, it was. That was the warm Okay, fine. Whatever he says goes. So our second contestant is five years old and loves hockey. Billy, you are the next contestant on Professor Slivers Challenge. Oh, he's excited like he's on prices, right? No, that's okay. We're gonna up here. Hey, Billy, how you doing there, bud? All right. So, uh, you think you can beat the professor? Yes. Yes. I love the compass. I think you can do it too. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. All right. Listen, the professor here, he feels like he's really confident. We need to give him a nice big scare, so you're ready to take him on. Okay. So on the count of three, I want you to give him the scariest face you could possibly make. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh wow. Oh, oh. I smell something funny coming from the professor, but we'll talk about that later. Go on over there to the wheel, Billy. I need new lap pants. Yeah, you do. All right, but before we do anything, we must first go to the wheel of challenges. Check out the hook while my DJ performs. Okay, we're good. I got All right, Billy. Like this shake. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Spin the wheel of challenges. Nice big spin for.
from Billy Biceps here. All right, and you land on the Trivia Challenge. Oh, professor, this is easy. All right, well, let me tell you how it's going to work, even though you think it's easy. This is very, very simple. I'm going to ask a series of questions that both Billy and the professor will answer. Now, this is the game, This is the game, okay? If you lose, you have to give Professor Slithers a million dollars of your money. Cha-ching! Hope you got good credit, kid. But if you win, Take pictures. you will get to meet one of our animals, okay? But these are very easy questions. Very easy. You know what? Let me give you your first one, okay? What is a common house pet that wags his tail and goes woof woof? Dog. Dog is correct. Look at that. See? Very, very easy. These yeah. are easy. They are easy. Uh, yeah. You want something a little bit tad more difficult? Ah, no. Nah, keep it easy. Okay, I'll keep it easy for you, okay? What is fun? 5,742 divided by 6.314. <laughs> Summertime, why are you making me do math? Because it's hot, I gotta make sure you're on your toes. Uh, it's, it's square root of pi. Square root of pi is incorrect, sir. What's the answer? Uh, the answer was get a calculator app. <laughs> okay, so Billy, see, very simple, right? You're, not, you're feeling scared, you okay? You got this? All right, we'll go on to the second question. Your second question, all right? What is an animal from Australia with a pouch on the front that likes to hop around? Kangaroo. Kangaroo is correct. See? How does he get the easy ones? He didn't even need to use that lifeline that I whispered to him. Not at all. All right. <laughs> Nothing. So, uh, you ready for your second question? Yeah, make it easy, please. All right, fine. You know what? We'll go to your major. We'll go to biology, okay? Sounds good. Why don't we ask this question? What is the largest mammal in the world? Snooky. <laughs> Hold on. Don't encourage him. What? She's going to set a record, get bigger in December. Uh, <laughs> you can't say that. It's a family show. I, well, all right. So Snooki can bring the kid in a few months. Stop. Stop. <laughs> what? All right. The answer was blue whale. We were looking for blue whale. What's the difference? <laughs> Zip it. Okay. Snooki. <laughs> all right, Billy. Your third and final question. You're in the lead by two, okay? Two. So your final question is... Is what is a common farm animal that says moo? Cow. Cow is correct. Wow, three for three. This guy is the next Einstein in the making. Professor, you are down. You are losing. You know what? I feel so bad. I will give you something you will never get wrong. You bet. I will. As a matter of fact, we've been friends for years. I know that you know this. You've gotten me some cool birthday presents. So just yeah. tell me, what's my birthday? We've celebrated this before. Yes, and I don't like the hesitation in your voice. We do this every year. Yeah, okay. Yes, every year, same day, same month, every uh, every time. May to Ember 74th. Final May, answer. May May to Ember. 16th month of the leap year. Billy is the winner of the trivia challenge. Give it up for Billy. Which professor, I just want to let you know, you lose. <laughs> Professor, go be dramatic somewhere else because guess what? Since Billy is our winner, he gets to meet Romeo, the real, the real first contestant. Yeah, those were exhibitions. They so the count. first let's two were exhibitions. This is for the cup. Yep. All right, fine. Let's do it. All right, our last contestant is eight years old, loves gymnastics. Amanda, come on down. You're our final contestant on the Professor Slithers Challenge. Hey there, Amanda. How you doing? All right, why don't you give a nice, where's your family at? Are they here? <laughs> give them a wave. Hi, we're on, we're on stage, yay! Okay, man, you think you can beat the professor? Yeah. Yes, I love the confidence. Okay, why don't you go with Vanna to the wheel? All right, professor, stage is yours. Yes, it is, and before we do anything, we must first, please say it with me, go to the Wheel of Challenges! Break it down! You spin the wheel of challenges. Ha, I'm spinning in circles. Yeah. All right, why 
right, what a surprise. Professor Slither's choice. Ooh, what are the odds? All right, I choose impressions. I'll be in the back. All right, go ahead and get ready for the impressions challenge. Amanda, why don't you come up front and center right over here? All right, so as the name states, you will be doing a series of impressions. Then Professor will have his shot to do impressions. And then by audience vote, it will declare the winner of the impressions challenge. You think you got this, Amanda? All right. So, Amanda, I need you to give me your best impression of a kitty cat. Wow, meow is correct. Yeah, good job. All right. So, you know what? Let's see what the professor's got. Hey, professor, how you doing back there? I am ready, Fred. You are ready for your first round of impressions. Ready, Freddy. Okay, well, I want you to show me Super Mario. <laughs> It's me, Mario, Luigi, my sound effect. Okay. Boing! Boing! Doo doo doo! Doo doo doo! Boing! 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 I, I am a sorry. I ate a spaghetti. I, I did not like that. I did not. I'm so quick. The, the princess is in another castle. I liked you when you were played by Bob Hoskins. Okay. That was interesting. All right. So, uh, Amanda, how you doing? You still okay? Yeah. All right. I need you to do your second impression, okay? Your second impression is going to be a uh, draft. That's correct. Giraffes do not vocalize that much, and that is actually correct. You are, you're good. What? You are good. No, that's, that's a giraffe. Giraffes don't really vocalize. I didn't know if you knew that, Professor. All right. <laughs> Give me my next one. All right. Your next one's going to be magical. Your next one is Harry Potter. I gave that guy a thousand pimples on his back. Uh, really? Hey. I expect some Patronus! Really? Happy hour is until five o'clock, pal. Oh, okay. Hey, guess what? Look what I got! Oh, you want the stitch? I got a stitch! You want the stitch? Go get it, boy! Hey, 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 what a Dumbledore, huh? Okay. All right, looks like you are in the lead, Amanda. No need to be nervous, okay? Your next one's gonna be the most challenging impression yet, okay? I need you to show me a statue! Whoa, man! She is a genius! You are good. All right, well, that leaves you, Professor. How you doing back there? I am ready to go for the gold. Uh, am, I, am I reading this right? Do you really want me to read this out loud? Do it, Fred. It's what I pay you for. <sighs> Lady Gaga. No. Oh. It's actually scarier than the real thing. Whoa! Stop! What is... What is... What is... Stop! Look, look. You, she needs oxygen to breathe, okay? Can you... What is that? What is that? Dinosaur? I yeah, you said pterodactyl. No, I said Lady Gaga. Oh, my mistake. All right, try something she says, okay? Okay. Uh, I'm weird. Give me money. Uh, you know what? We'll allow that, because that's something that I think I believe that she would say. Give it up one more time for the professor, okay? It was a nice shot, I suppose. But, of course, as I said, it's down to the audience vote. So, Amanda, front and center, who do you guys think won? Was it Professor Slithers? No one. You have no friends. Or was it Amanda? All right. Amanda, you are the winner of our Impressions Challenge, which means, Professor, you are the loser! Alright, and because, Amanda, you have won the Impressions Challenge, you get to meet me. So, uh, you lose all the competitions Oh, uh, that's a matter of opinion, Fred. Alright. Well, the matter of opinion that I have is that the show's over! No! Oh, no, yeah. it's not! No! No! No, it's not! No! We're not done yet! Not at all? No, we're not done yet. I want one more challenge. Uh, you want one more challenge, which is? I want is? one more challenge. Dance off! Okay, well, I guess our final challenge that's just been instigated into the show will be our dance-off. So I need all three of our contestants that just performed, please come on back to the stage. That being Philly, Jacqueline, and Amanda. Come on up. 
We need you three to take on the professor in a final challenge. This challenge is self-explanatory. It is the dance-off, which means that these kids will dance off first, and then the professor will have one more chance at his shot to get his dignity back. Are you guys ready? So enthusiastic. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, DJ, hit it! Every day I'm shuffling. Dance! contestants up here. Take a bow, guys. That was fantastic. <laughs> All right, yeah, Billy. Soak it up. All right, Professor. Yes? We have seen our contestants dance, which leaves you one more shot for your redemption. Are you ready? I'm ready. A little bit. All right, gentlemen. Professor Slithers. Oh, boy. Natalie Portman's crying in California. Uh, that's not even a chasse. Uh, in tight. <laughs> well, Professor, that was definitely interesting. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah, awesomely I interesting, know. I guess I had to say. You know what? I was thinking just a minute ago that I was wrong that to think that the kids have possibly won. Just to let you know, because now I know they have definitely won. Give it up one more time for our three contestants. Take one more bow. You three are our winners for today. Go ahead and find your seats, kids. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my Please. show. What do you mean it's your show? This, this show is my show. No, I'm supposed to win. I, it's I just my crowd. What if it's not on my head? And just put my hands on the show and my hands on the fire. And I just can't win anything. I'm just such a failure. Console me, man, who's not paying attention to the show. <laughs> Listen, he probably spent $35 at Aeropostale for that polo shirt, okay? It looks like it. You shouldn't be crying on it. But besides that, let me tell you something. Everybody here comes to Six Flags Great Adventure to have fun, right, guys? And I think everybody in these seats had a fun time at your show. Yeah? Yeah. You guys had fun? Yeah! Well, of course you did. I planned it that way the whole time. And since my plan came together, that means I am... Uh, you know why I'm a winner, McMahon? I didn't say you're a winner, but I know why? I'm a winner okay. because I'm a genius. Okay. Genius. A genius. Wait for it, because you, me, and the audience make. Oh! One more round of applause for our Professor Slithers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Bye. you so much for stopping by and checking out our Professor Slithers challenge. We do have a sea line celebration at five o'clock over at Fort Independence. Be sure to shoot on down there and check it out. We will be bringing out our animals for a nice personal meet and greet right here at Professor Slithers Challenge. And whatever you do here today at Six Flags Great Adventure, you make it a Six Flags Day. I'm Fred McMahon. Peace. Flash Zone! Oh, no. <laughs>